Hey everybody, how's life treating you? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome to a very different game uh, called Yu-Gi-Oh! Duel Links. For those of you who know me personally, you know I play this game all the time on my phone. And sometimes I just like to have a random video up on the channel just to throw off the YouTube algorithm so that I'll never get actually popular. <laughs> uh, anyway, what I wanted to share with you today was something that basically this, basically this game has events that occur seasonally. Last season, this event occurred and I found a, I wouldn't really call it an exploit. I'd call it something that you can do that will get you an immediate S rank in the event. Uh, and possibly one of the highest scores in the world, uh, which I think I got. Uh, I imagine uh, eventually a lot of other people figured it out, and they had high scores like me. But at the time, I think I was maybe one of the first people to do it. I'm not sure. Uh, maybe I was one of the last people to do it. I don't know. But I know I was so proud of it. I shared it on Facebook, and uh, like I showed all my friends, because it's uh, a way to get over 100,000 damage during this event. Where in A rank, you only need like 30,000 damage. Um, there's a lot you have to understand. If you don't play the game, it's very interesting. Uh, you should give it a look at. It's free to play. Um, so, you know, just for some context, this event is called Dimensional Disaster, Indora, Doom, Volt, the Cubic Emperor. And basically in this event, let's see if I can show you a Dimension Duel real quick. Just a real quick one, just knock it out of the way. This is a character from the series and you face him. Now, there are some special rules in these types of duels in case you haven't played it before. In this duel, uh, you are basically fighting against this person's deck normally. However, you can summon monsters automatically. Um, it, do it doesn't matter, as you can see. If you read that out, I'll explain. I, I like it better when I explain. Uh, dimension duel is different than a regular duel. There is no sacrificial requirement for any level of monster. You can summon them immediately. Now, um, to make up for that, this guy, as you can see, has 46,000 HP, or 46,000 life points. And there are other modes where he'll be level 300, level 500, level 1000, where he has much, much, much higher um, life points. So, you're basically fighting that guy in the back, his ultimate summon. Now, the special event rules say that Blue Eyes White Dragon creatures, or Blue Eyes White Dragon itself, deals, I believe it was, triple damage uh, for any attack. And as you can see, I can normal summon him without sacrificing. Um, Red Eyes, or er, Red Eyes, Dark Magician monsters, or Dark Magician himself, including the fusions, which they've added several new ones during this, um, during, uh, this season, deal, as you can see, what, wait for it, double damage, or was it triple? I think it's triple. And the Egyptian god monsters, uh, including uh, Winged Dragon of Ra, Slifer the... Uh, uh, oh god, I'm getting confused. In the Egyptian god monsters, including Obelisk the Tormentor, Winged Dragon of Ra, and Slifer, um, all deal uh, five times damage. I'm going to end my turn heal real quick. That ends my turn. You're no threat to me. Uh, you have five turns with which to completely eliminate. You have five turns with which to completely eliminate all of his life points. So there is some benefits and some drawbacks. And as you can see, I can summon Dark Magician immediately, and he too will also deal triple damage. The reason I'm making this video today is because I have found not necessarily an exploit, but something a lot of people wouldn't figure. Like they might not think of it because um. <clears throat> This event takes place in the Yu-Gi-Oh! realm of, I think it was, Different Side of Dimensions, or Dark Side of Dimensions, DSOD. So it's, it takes place, let's see, Yu-Gi-Oh! and then GX, and then I think it's DSOD, and then 5Ds. Or is it, it might be, no, it's DSOD and then GX. So basically it takes place there and some people might not think about it because the character that I'm going to be using in order to use this exploit is from the original Yu-Gi-Oh! series. It's actually Merrick. Uh, Yami Merrick. And the reason for that is rather simple. I'm going to go on ahead and get through this as quickly as I possibly can. Um, oh, there's more, uh, there's more things about this event I would like to uh, tell you. 
during this event, you are actually fighting with other uh, people in order to defeat this creature here. Um, other people can join in on the duel, and the total amount of life points that you subtract from this character will count for each person that participates in this duel. So as you can see, I have my own instance of this duel here and I, that I'm fighting against him. And at the exact same time, other people in real time are actually taking those exact same five turns and using whatever creatures they put in their deck, or monsters, sorry I play Magic the Gathering, um, in order to completely eliminate this person's life points. Now, I can summon Obelisk the Tormentor by sacrificing all three of these bad boys and um, hopefully attack my opponent directly to deal 20,000 life points worth of damage. 20,000 because he deals five times worth of life point damage. Yes. Now, unfortunately, I'll need to be able to either use his special ability to get through my opponent's monsters by eliminating them uh, one by one, or, oh dear, am I not going to be able to... I need to summon one more monster to destroy that face down. I did make a deck during the last season of this event where I used a lot of cards that gave my uh, monsters uh, piercing, which that's a Magic the Gathering thing, so uh, it gives my monsters the ability to deal the difference between the attack and uh, defense points as damage to my opponent's life points. What am I using here? I'm, I'm just I'm just auto clicking at this point. Monster spell trap. Negate the activation if you do destroy that card. Oh, he's oh I don't have a spell card. Can I even do that? Am I negating my own monster's effect? Oh god, that's going to be embarrassing. Yes, I negated my own monster's effect because I'm amazing. Dag blasted. Uh, well, not cutting that out. We all make mistakes. Nobody's perfect. I ultimate providence my own monster and stop my freaking obelisk the tormentor from being able to actually deal damage and as you can see after the five turns you automatically lose which is rather unfortunate actually it's an automatic draw pardon me now what i want to do is switch back to yami merrick and actually get the card i need on the field to deal about gosh what was it a million damage oh i also need dimension duel ex i'll need dimension duel blah 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 Okay, let's switch back to Merrick and just do a bunch of auto duels, and then I'll come back to you whenever that has been completed. Hey everybody, alright, I'm back. Sorry about that. I actually had to rebuild the deck uh, from last season, because the one that Seto Kaiba was using and the one that Merrick was, uh, was using are different, and I actually replaced Merrick's old deck with a different one that has nothing to do with this event. So I actually had to rebuild it. I've made some changes that I think will be very... Uh, be better, be interesting. Um, this is level 400. He has 51,000 HP uh, life points. I think I might need to fight one with more because I think I might deal too much damage to him in one. But we've got Dimension Duel EX, which basically you just have to duel him five times in order to activate that. That can be either duels from uh, that can be either duels from him being summoned on his own, so you fighting him, or that can be duels where you assist other players. And of course, those of you who are big in the event, you already know this, but I must explain it to, as if the person was new. Now, I'm going to try to see if I can get this to work. Before I start, I want EX Draw plus Summon. What that does, it allows me to normal summon twice per turn plus draw twice per turn. And I've got the gems for it, so I'm just going to get that right there, purchase that, and then go into the duel with that active in my strategy because I want to be able to get out Ra as soon as possible. Now, uh, my Winged Dragon of Ra, when used as Merrick, uh, Merrick has a special ability called Power of the Tributed and I will show you that after the duel. What that does... Hold on, it's loading. Oh, did I click Auto Duel? Dimension Duel, EX, okay. It's got to be Dimension Duel EX, not Auto Duel, not Normal, not. It's got to be Dimension Duel. <laughs> you will plummet into okay. the shadows. Okay, so he's gonna summon his first monster, and you're just gonna completely ignore him. <laughs> anyway, um, what Ra's ability does with Power of the Tributed is it makes Ra's total attack power equal to the um, Ra's total attack power 
equal to the attack power of the monsters that you tributed. Oh god, turn off auto duel. No. Okay, we can still save this. Okay. Now auto duel is off. He's doing his own thing. I'll take control during the next turn. As you can see, the computer is just attacking randomly. Oh yes, uh, Dimension Duel EX. The EX ability gives you this ability, Spirit. You gain willpower. Can be used by spending willpower. Effects vary depending on effects vary depending on how much willpower is spent. Remove 500%. The attack of all monsters you control is multiplied by five until the end of the turn. Remove 500%. Select one monster from your deck and play that monster. As you can see, it's very impressive. So at the beginning of each standby phase, you gain 100% willpower. When you normal summon or special summon a monster, it equals plus 50%. When you dimension summon a monster, plus 100%. When you summon a monster control, when a monster you control is destroyed by battle, my, uh, plus 50%. When you destroy a monster your opponent controls by battle, plus 50%. So you're always gaining willpower. And you want to be able to use that to eliminate your opponent. Uh, I'm just going to attack real quick. As you can see, lots and lots and lots of damage. Now, the fun part about this, with how you get an extreme amount of damage in order to get you into the S ranks, is even if you KO him and eliminate all of his life points in a single turn, um, if you overkill him, which I, I know I can't say that word because it's going to demonetize... Well, it... This video isn't demonetized. If you over, if you over game him, um, you will again. Oh, hmm, this is interesting. I don't have the maximum. the The maximum I ever managed to get was three blue eyes. Because again, Ra's ability um, or Merrick's ability, power of the tribute. Can I? Can I make it higher? Let me see. This card may become bust away while on the field. The graveyard monster you control is going to be destroyed. You can target one of the destroy monsters with this card once per turn and one of the monsters send it. Put this card destroy all monsters your opponent controls the same types as the monster in the graveyard. Um inflicts any damage of dragon type monster different names in the graveyard. Uh monster well, graveyard field is destroyed by a card effect, destroy all monsters opponent controls. I think this is the the highest I can get right now is to just use blue eyes. But Merrick has that ability that I told you about called Power of the Tributed that makes his attack power equal to the attack power of the monsters of the monsters tributed when you summon Ra. Okay, he's almost out now. I really need to draw Ra. And I've got enough spirit to double his attack power. If I could just draw Ra. I might want to use my ability to draw him. That does take some doing. Okay, come on. Where's Ra? Oh, blast it. A confusion. And then, how many turns do I have left before he's eliminated? Uh, let's get this guy out. Uh, no you. And a warrior monster. That'll at least free me up a space. Doesn't really make much difference in attacking. See, there's... There's a lot of ways you can do this, though, and I had a different deck the last time. But uh, what I want to do now is just make it so that my opponent doesn't have any additional monsters on the field. I don't, I don't need that ability right now. Yeah, you're gonna roll a dice, and the the equal to the dice is the monster that you can get from your graveyard, which is Guido, isn't it? Yeah, he comes back. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, wouldn't that kill him? No, it wouldn't kill him. He's still got time. I want to make sure that his life points are as low as I can possibly get them, because overkill does count in this mode. If I can just show you. Six, you ain't getting nothing. Uh, I don't want to attack with that. How many turns do I have left? Two, okay. So two of his turns left. <clears throat> Come on, Raw. Come on, Winged Dragon of Raw. Blast it. Uh, I don't want to use that right now. Battle. Let's get rid of him. I just want to keep his field open. Uh, discard. I've got one shot left at this. Now see, that's something I wasn't anticipating. Uh-oh, I should have used my creature's ability. Come on, Ra. There he is, okay. Can I use your activate effect? Okay, uh, select monster special summon. Oh, blast it. No! 
No, I'm not going to get a direct attack. I need the direct attack. There's got to be a way. There's got to be a way. Oh, God, there's got to be a way. No! There is a way. I can use my spirit, but it's not going to be quite the amount of damage that I promised. Blast it. All right. Well, let's see this firsthand, and we'll we'll just multiply it. You'll you'll see, you'll see. Now, if you'll look down here, <clears throat> you'll notice it's going to say activates power of the tributed. Sorry if I'm a little loud. It's very echoey in here. Normal summons Wing Dragon of Ra. You activate Power of the Tributed. That makes Ra's attack strength equal to the combined attack of all monsters tributed. Activate the effect of Ring Dragon of Ra. Oh, and you can also still give him life points, which would be an additional 3,900. Uh, sure, why not? Hang on. You can pay life points that so that you only have one of them. Equal to the amount of life points paid. One, you can pay 1,000 life points, then target one monster on the field, destroy that target. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. Activate effect. With its special ability, behold the true form of Ra! Egyptian god Venus! That's what he wants to do. Okay. Now, I destroy this card. Now I have an open shot at him, right? Now watch this. I'm going to activate the EX ability. I'm going to increase his attack points in multiples of five until the end of the turn. I'm going to activate that the first time. Willpower rising. Ra's attacks goes up from 88. Yeah, uh-huh. Two. Boom. 44,000. 44,000. Okay, now we're going to do this again. And he's going to multiply again. Now remember, the Egyptian god monsters do five times damage during this event. I'm so glad I got to show you. I think this is the fullest potential. 20. That's... That's 200... What is... What is that's two... Two... 20,000, that's 20,000, 220,000, that's 220,000 damage. Now multiply that times five. Let's get, are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? I'm going to tell you, it's going to be a lot. Oh, I have to switch to battle phase. I, I, I'm not even going to bother summoning these guys. It's it's not even going to matter. Battle. Now, watch this. And remember, overkill does count. And in during the last, um, during the last session of this season, I had a C rank for overall total damage. And your rank from... D, C, B, A to S depends on the overall total amount of damage that you have dealt to this character during this event in one hit. Uh, not the overall duels and the overall damage, but the amount of damage in a single attack during any one duel. And we are going to make that a lot of damage. It should deal... I don't even know. Holy God. <laughs> that is... Okay, we're back. Um, I'm I'm very smart and very stupid. Uh, I don't know numbers. Math was my worst subject. I got an F in math. Go ahead and make fun. I don't like math. I hate math. I don't know numerals. Um, I had to Google it. In numerals, uh, one, one, uh, my highest amount of damage, 1138... One, 400 is in words 1,138,400 1,138,400 yes and as you can see that is way higher than what you need for an A rank or an S rank or any rank um, when it, uh, that's all it was 1,138,400 400? Why couldn't I say that? Why couldn't I just say that? I, I don't know basic math. I don't know basic math. But I know how to cheese it. <laughs> anyway, um, I hope you found the video slightly informative. Um, those of you who actually do numerals will... Uh, uh, those of you who actually do know numerals may do even better. If you do, let me know. Uh, but anyway, that's all for this little short snippet of an episode. Um, yeah. Yeah, um, if you're interested in the game, that's how you can cheese it. 
if you play the game and you're playing this event right now, that's how you can cheese it. So, uh, that's all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to uh, leave a like. If you did, oh, no. That's all for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe for updates on future content. Leave any helpful comments you might have in the comment section below. Likes are always appreciated. Until next time, take it easy, my friends.